guys welcome back to my channel it's filming me here film secrets um so it's been a while since i filmed the youtube video because life has been happening and i have not had the time even though i really sometimes i just want to pick up the camera and film something but it's like no time and today i'm supposed to be doing something else but i had i've had this idea in my head for a long time i just like let me just do it today so i'm gonna do it today i'm gonna share it with you guys so i have this bag of scrap fabric um lots lots of different patterns scrap fabric so what i usually do i don't throw away scrap fabrics i just keep them till they get they fill up a bag or something and i've done this like twice the first time i made two pillows pillowcases and then stuffed the remaining fabric into the pillowcases and the other one was also a pillow but what i did was i made um like kind of like patch i made like patch work pillowcase so it was like different um fabrics and, and different squares and i just sewed them together it was like a patch pillowcase that was good and i have an idea of doing something like that again um patch like a patch i want to make like a yard fabric but patch with patch i don't even know what i'm saying it's it's, it's my head i know what i want to do <laughs> okay so whoa, whoa, i have a lot so i have a lot of scrap fabric like even the sequins I used for my birthday fabric, I still have, um, I still have pieces of it left. Gosh. Oh, it's even, it's still a lot of sequin. Ah! I really love this fabric. Gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, so what I need to do first is sort out the pieces the ones that i can get squares out from um like i can't get a square from this one it's just or this one so i'm just gonna sort out the fabric first and then we shall begin the cutting of the squares process okay <laughs> okay let me just let me, just, let me get on to it I'm not really sure exactly what I want to make. I just want to have the yard fabric first and decide if I'm going to make a bag out of it or another pillowcase and stuff the remaining like pieces of fabric into it. Or I had another idea of making a peplum belt. I don't know if that's going to turn out good. <laughs> but let me sort this out and cut them into squares and rectangles and then sew them together. And then we'll decide what viable item you can make from that yard of fabric. So these these are all the squares I have, squares and rectangles. There were, there was no particular dimensions I cut them into. I just tried to make all the sides as, as equal as possible. And there's actually no color coordination, but I think it's gonna look good anyway, it's not gonna matter. Um, so I think I have like six different fabrics here on the table. And I'm just gonna begin the process of joining them together. No particular order as well just putting them together see which sides can fit which sides and and just sew them together and then when i'm done i'm gonna press it and we'll decide what to do with it afterwards So I pressed it and now I'm trimming the edges to make it equal. I also cut up the lining fabric equal to the dimension of the scrap fabric. Once I was done trimming and cutting, I closed up the two openings by sewing with a straight stitch, leaving one side open for the opening of the bag. Next, I placed the right sides of the fabric together and pinned all around. Once I was done, I joined them together with a straight stitch. After that, I turned everything right side out and pressed it and then closed off the end of the lining fabric. 
I also have this velvet black straps, um, but you can use anything you want for the straps of the bag. I folded them in half and joined both sides together with a straight stitch to form a tube. And then I turned it out. I also pressed this and I placed it on the bag. Um, you just decide the dimensions you want want the, the straps to be, um, and then place it on the bag and just sew together, sew a square to join it together. And that's it. The bag was done. Okay, so I am done with my bag. I think it turned out great. So. This is kind of like a velvety strip and I attached it. The seam is showing inside, but I think it's okay. Uh, actually, to start out this project, I think I was going to make a bag. I had other ideas, but I was like, okay. I think uh, scrap fabric kind of bag would be also nice. And I can use it for so many things. I'm actually going to wear it out today. <laughs> I think it looks good um you can come it's really big so your laptop anything you want to put in it. it can be a gym bag i don't know anything it looks good so this is a great way to use your scrap fabric and not throw it away you know we are living trying to live sustainably and recycle and use things again uh so this is a bag i really hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful and you're gonna not throw away your stash fabric or your scrap fabric you're going to use it and utilize it to make something as good as this you can make make a bag <laughs> you can make up you can make a makeup bag <laughs> that's hard to say a make make a makeup bag you can make a makeup bag you can make uh i don't know a laptop case so many things you just need a long rectangular piece of um, scrap fabric yard and you can make anything you want this bag is gorgeous. I like it. Let me see. Like. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Get them to use your scrap fabric. And even if you don't have, if you don't sew regularly and you don't have scrap fabric, I think you can use your old clothes, like things you're gonna throw away or use as a rag, anyways. You can, like, cut it up in squares and join it together i think that would also work fine as well uh so i'll see you guys in my next video please do subscribe to my channel um the subscribe button is at the bottom um it's a red button so please do subscribe turn on your notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video bye